Hey, we got transcoding. So, hi all and welcome. Glad about that. Right, okay. Giveaway is open. Let's go uh, to the live screen. There we go. Right, okay. Let's get some pets. Yes. Yes, indeed. A straightforward daily mission, please. Enigma dogs again. Right, okay. Alright, like an elite assignment. We'll get the uh, prisoner, of course. Close there, and then another alien. Oh, might even hit the alien level. That'd be nice. Get rid of some crap. Don't need that. We get another one of those shortly. So yeah. Why can I not? Oh, there we go. We have picked it up. Zinzig, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, sir. Welcome on in. How the devil are you? Just straighten up my chamber here. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's, go, let's get some buffs. Like so. Doing very well, thanks. On a solo night, kiddo is with his mum and I'm all alone. Well, why not? Makes a change. Right, buff Carlo. And the other. Carlo should be 219. He is good. Right, okay. Uh, first off, perk him. We're gonna do... One of those. And it should be Anima of the Abomination. Improved. Instill with malign intent. It's 219. It's 254. Healthy manifestation. Uh, same on Savic for that. Evocation to seven five and that one. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Carlos to as it works this evening. Bastion for free with a loot, please. Good luck. First entry of the night. I think we're good to go there. Let's, um, what should we do? And we go to Newland. I think that's what we do. And we do the alien daily in perpetual wastelands. Crazy mountain goat. Good evening with a loot, please. Good luck. Newland Lake. Do you have some good tips for Keeper? Pretty hard to get Keeper wrong, but um, there's some perk priorities to consider. Like at early levels, you perk the bio. What was it called? Bio shielding and.
like a heel delta an automatic hot one up until about 100 ish and then the castable hot is that much bigger it's not really worth having it any longer and you can start putting it into other things there's easier stepping stones for two-hand edge even if your end goal is to make a melee energy keeper two-hand edge is ahead on there's more upgradability th uh, through pro progression um don't forget you can run far more auras together than you used to be able to nano in it is important after about 150 in fights in that you can recast your ward at a reasonable speed in that you can squeeze recasting ward as a defensive kind of thing and then there's some debate whether melee energy or two-hand edge is better damage output i think two-hand edge is now with the high the newer weapons and such so I mean, it's a 100% drop from the final boss in Temple of the High Level Temple of the Three Winds. So, there's that, you know. I feel like I don't have as many buffs on this character as. I should have been. There we go. <laughs> Just looked and went, that's one, sh that's one less than it is normally. Run away. Don't get blown up. Heal us on with a loot, please. Good luck. And then go and do it again. I, first time I did this mission, when it first came out, I was like, all the way back to the alien handler. And then the alien handler is like, what? What? <laughs> You've got to do two of them. Despite the, you've completed the mission music. To find slightly music. Harry, with a loot, please. Good luck to you. from the big boom I think it hit the pet <laughs> it didn't hit me but it did hit the pet all right let's go any plans on making another fruit place in the future mm, maybe I'm, I, I don't have any concrete plans for the rest of the year other than uh, to give away all all the items that I have been given to give away. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe that could be fun. Not sure what I'd make. Um, that's the thing. The problem is if you've played every class and you've played it on paid going back and playing it on through is like oh but I, should, I could be doing this because in the back of your mind you know you could have xyz and play a certain way and and enjoy that and then you're sort of stuck with ah uh, but i can't because i'm through and it yeah sometimes it's it went that way with the omni experiment which was a through nt it was all right until about 100 and then i really did not want to use a nano deck uh, i didn't want to use a weapon other than a nano deck and of course you can't really um and it was 
it sort of it annoyed me. That's the only way I can explain it. It annoyed me that I, as an NT, I had to use a weapon. It's like the Froob design of NT isn't correct. You know, they should be pure damage dealers. Do you know what I mean? I'll quickly check. There's no warden up now, is there? I don't think. Uh, warden, no. Freelancer. It's going to be tomorrow he goes live, isn't it? But just to double check, let's, let's go and have a look. No, there is no little orb of fun at the back. He's not there. I have a feeling some classes get a bit extra, whereas others... Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's, um... Some classes feel like, oh, well, I'm only missing out on this. But since 18.7, there's a massive difference between uh, free and paid, and you, you kind of... It, 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 it grates a little bit because you're like, yeah, but I could have, but I don't, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the only major change to, I think, Fixer was... Oh, you can use grid armor in Shadowlands. Yeah, that's great, but if you make a Froob Fixer, why you can't go to Shadowlands, so why even do that, you know, and just... <laughs> just sort of uh, just didn't sit right. Alright, wooden stains, it's me again at your service. Alright, what would you like? Let's take a prisoner mission. Goodbye. There we go. Yeah, sorry for the later start. A few things going on in the background over this weekend not not just that it's a bank holiday this weekend it's easter if, if you celebrate easter um or whether you just you know it's end of march and there's easter eggs you know, so. <laughs> whichever it's all good you know i mean really if you want to go old school it's the <laughs> it's the spring equinox, but it's been and gone. Uh, but yeah, a lot of it is to do with that. Or it all dates back to that, and then they kind of shift dates around, you know, to match up. rubber banding a lot these days this whole week i've been rubber banding i've checked my my um my connection and, and it's all fine and dandy it really is i've got one gig down and 100 meg up it's you know way way above what is required to play a game and stream it Yeah, you get a lot of, with NT, there's a lot of nicer nanos. It's not just that, oh, they've got Shadowlands, you've got to remember, you go, oh, they've got Shadowlands, and Alien Invasion, and uh, Zan, uh, and Legacy of Zan, you know, it's, <clears throat> there's a lot of layers added, you know, so it can, it can ultimately feel like Froob is a demo version. But some people, it, it feels more nostalgic to play that way, um, because that's how the game was initially for a year or so. feeling like yeah that's it the echoes evening good evening welcome on in yeah it does it does feel a bit demo versiony you know and they kind of rub your face in it at low levels now with the illegally modified um ofab weapons and uh, there's more than a dozen occasions i've seen people in like a you know clan out of character channel saying things like um where do i get the next illegally modified ofab and people go oh just get a perennium for now and i go oh right 
uh, and then they go oh i can't use that i'm i'm a shroom and they're like oh okay so where do i get the next ofab weapon you can't use ofab weapons on fruit and they're like oh what can i use and they're like oh well there's, a, there's this there's that there's the other and they're like okay <laughs> okay and uh, yeah so it, as fun as it was that they added that um it does have some negatives as well what have we got we've got eight minutes on him and 28 minutes on that one hmm oh well so we're waiting around in the dazzlingly bright sunshine yeah i think i've missed a text earlier on yeah normally it's seven o'clock for the saturday stream but this evening i had a few other daft little things going on so Just responding to her text. <sighs> we sit around and we wait. A few minutes. So how is everyone doing? How's everyone's weekend looking? Are you having fun? It's a bank holiday in the UK. I don't know if it's a holiday in the States or whatever. Is it? I don't know. New Year's Day. Martin Luther King, Washington's birthday, Memorial Day day but that's not till may yeah you you don't have whereas the uk is a little different okay holiday so you got new year spring bank holiday but also good friday march and all that so a lot of places are shut down on over the weekend etc so I think I might be got my little military disability check yesterday. Well, that's something. S spend it on having a good time or just to make ends meet, like most people. <laughs> Deceptees, happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter to you. Yeah, it's a banking holiday in the UK, but why why would that you know it means things take longer to clear at a bank like it actually needs a person to do something and we all know that there's no person doing diddly over the weekend any weekend so the he comes loot please welcome yes good luck and welcome in flip out not sure but was surprised it came through so who knows yeah yeah Oh, it's always a blessing yeah my um company they pay you on the 28th of each month unless that's a a, a saturday a sunday or a bank holiday and then they pay pay you early and christmas they pay you on the 23rd or earlier depending how it all lands you know Bobby Scarabo. Good evening, Carl. Good evening, sir. Nice to see you. Silent Aim. Welcome on in. Yeah, so tonight we're doing the Grace giveaway. And then tomorrow night, uh, so Sunday night for me, uh, we're doing... I thought I'd kept, kept hold of a... Um, <laughs> for some reason, I had a horrible feeling I'd kept hold of... Um, 
my ba one of my bags of uh, good stuff off my mule, which I don't like to do. I like to keep it all on that character so I know when I can find it. You know. For, for such times as I need to do some uh, equipping and twinking and what have you. So we're all good. We got transcoding. Yay! That's what we like. And it says uh, live, no recommended changes. Yep, it's looking good. I'm waiting for Twitch to do AV1 encoding, but uh, no sign of that happening yet, but it would be good. I've been playing, uh, I played another hour or two of uh, Horizon Forbidden West. That's pretty good. I enjoyed the, the last game they did, the previous game they did, which was um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Came up for like $9.99 on the Steam deal. And I knew it was a hell of a lot of game for nine ninety nine, so I bought it. And I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, good story, interesting world, interesting characters, nice game mechanics. Yeah, fun time. And then this latest outing is more of the same, but looks even cooler. You know, just drinking around, oh, dinking around on frubes. Not sure. I'll come back for a paid sub. Ao should be free to play at this point. Uh, I have nine two twenties on paid. Oh, yeah. There you go. Are there any free-to-play MMOs these days? You know, old-school MMOs, not pay-to-win MMOs with l laced with uh, microtransactions. I would prefer a subscription to microtransactions, I'll say that. Still gets updates. Yeah, that's the big difference, isn't it? Getting the updates. We got Silent Bob in the team. Now yes, we got a Silent Bob who is now level 220. Guild Wars 2 is buy to play. I did buy it uh, the, when it originally came out. I've still got a CD of it. Um, I've not tried to play it since though. I think I tried it for a week or two. It was about £27 UK money when it first came out, uh, which isn't a lot. Well, actually, when did it come? It was probably about the going rate for a game when it came out. Games are like quite a bit more now, aren't they? They're, you know, sixty, you know, dollars or whatever. Keep, keeps creeping up like everything else. What are we doing? 20 minutes. We've got about five minutes to go. Yeah, there's that one. WoW is still um, subscription, isn't it? As far as I know, anyway. Hundred percent, even for the classic servers. There you go. Say so games haven't gotten more expensive along with inflation, but I argue so many more players play games. It's not fair. Yeah, that's that's true. Ao costs less than Netflix for me in the UK, so I call it, a, and I get more hours of enjoyment out of Ao than I do out of Netflix. So it seems kind of okay to me, you know. Silent aim with a loot, please. Yeah, the the companies have to say, uh, you know, sustain, especially games that are constantly being developed. It, there's got to be an income for a board of directors to. It's got to show profit. It's not. It has to break even. It's not that. Um, it has to just tick over making money. You got to remember, you've got a bunch of greedy corpos running the company, and they want to see a certain amount of profit for every product in their portfolio to show their shareholders and that's why um you know they can't they cost what they do
You know, it's kind of hmm, annoying, but is what it is, you know. Look out for sure, eh? Always a bargain, just strap for cash. Yeah, that's it. If you, you know, if you've got a household and you like AO, the rest of the household is not going to understand sacrificing Netflix just to have AO, are they? So, <laughs> yeah. Say so they killed off. They, they, they closed every volunteer program in the company for across all their games. No more AXP raids. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, Ark no longer have their superpowers anymore. Uh, they still exist as players, um, and they formed a guild with the, the same character names they had as Arcs, and they do a lot of Ark stuff. Like on Sunday, we'll be doing a Find a Friend mission, with a bit of role play, you know? And a bit of uh, detective work, figuring out where people are on the planet from various clues. And it's good fun. It's really good fun. I enjoy it. Which one of your playthroughs have you enjoyed the most? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Over the span of 20 years, you, you kind of enjoy different things for different reasons. Do you know what I mean? Because you as the person are changing as you're going, you know, so there's certain things. I really need to finish upgrading that it needs one more thingy on it, doesn't it? And I can easily do it, so I should I should get that done. <laughs> yeah, so they they abruptly because it was it was down to a law change. They changed the law on, um, you know what you whether or not you can have certain things. So yeah, I think this was um, a giveaway bag. I'm looking at here with the conversion cans, VTEs, imbued globe of charity, lava boots. Extreme low light, a high quality memory, bunch of uh, alien armor components. That's one of mine. That actually needs deleting because you can't trade it. Uh, exterminate, yeah, and that was a daily reward as well. They can go. That probably was. <laughs> that I think was as well, but I'll, I'll leave it in there because why not? Some old Nova Dylan chest that I got today. You can have that as well. So yeah, but we'll do the bag of win along with the what's it tomorrow? Right, any minute now we should see. You know, whatever. I think the most, the one that's most memorable at the moment is probably the keeper one I did because I sort of really pushed. To make them really really good and we did a lot of the new content on them so um we did the pyramid of home which had been out a few years now was that 2016 i want to say we got that but then we also did the uh, high level temple and the high level subway raids we you know discovered them on test live and did them there and then came and did them and conquered them on um the live servers as well and they ended up being built up into a you know really quite powerful character so right while that's doing that i'm gonna go back to space and cast another pair of shields <laughs> as long as i don't get hit keeper is fun sure once you hit title six i kind of enjoyed the whole ride with that keeper I really did. I, I I thought it was good fun. Yeah, you know, I was keeping them two hand edge, and then the new two hand edge weapon came out. You know, and it was like, oh, and I have a tune I'm working on right now in order to, and I can just use it with them. You know, so it, it kind of. It all kind of fell into place quite nicely. And then some other items dropped, you know, new items started dropping in um, 
<coughs> excuse me, started dropping in the new dungeons and stuff, so that was pretty cool. I need to heal people. And it's all stomach. It. Go heal him. is even more fun at higher levels that's definitely true yeah tomorrow will be a fun stream um mrs kalos 2 is not in work so i can have a beer while we stream yay Thanks for team. Right, okay, so we've done that, we've done that. Enigma Dogs. Let's go back to tier. Hung Freak. Subscribed. For tier 1, they've subscribed for 21 months. Hung Freak, thank you very much for the resub. And thank you so much for 21 months, dude. Much appreciated. It is a great giveaway this evening, so feel free to drop your entry. One stains, another dead prisoner. Whatever, green. Goodbye. <coughs> Thanks for letting me tag along and grab cloak. Oh, no problem. It's a good prisoner to camp. A lot of people go to it because it's easy to get to, especially with the uh, fixer grid or what have you. Uh, you get that real quick. Um, I mean, there's a. Milky Way left, I think it is. Well, maybe not. Um, Milky Way left or right drops you spitting distance, you know, from uh, the prisoner, so quite popular. Sad to Toast. Cool name, that. Welcome to the stream. There we go. We've got Grace. Let's have a look at the current price. 136 billion credits. That's a lot of credits. Six, six left, Milky Way. Yeah, that's the one. Another plus 10. Don't mind if I do. There's one of those. We'll do a global chat. And... We'll do an OCC. No, oh, God's sake. Talk to channel. Plan OCC. There you go. And then back to Storm. There we go. Bliss. You were a community manager. No, I was not. <laughs> I, was, I don't remember being one if I was. Um, uh-oh, SpaghettiO, new engine crash. I haven't had this for a little while. The new engine doing a engine crash, but there you go. We'll be back momentarily. Right, sit down and exit. I've got to exit the whole way out of the game to fix it. It's kind of annoying. It doesn't happen often, I'll be honest. It used to happen all the bloody time, and it doesn't happen so much now. I thought you did something for Funcom. Um, promote their game for free for nine years. Done that. <laughs> um, but no, nothing. I don't think so. I don't remember ever being a community manager. Maybe I was. Uh, I don't remember it if I was. All right. 
let's log back in there we go i should have kept the pets we've been quite rapid there there we go pets away I've read some messages or something i've tried to always do positive things for the community but i don't think i ever did it in an official capacity as far as i know maybe i did no i'd remember wouldn't i surely and i kind of don't remember so i'm thinking i probably didn't um but hey never mind I just really like the game and I wish it it got the love it deserves, you know, that's all. Um, the more people that play it, the more fun it is for me to play, you know. Oh dear, we got the lags again. Maybe I'm remembering something, some blog or something you did that Gouter or someone promoted or put a blog up on the launcher long ago. Uh, maybe? I wrote a review on Steam and it got voted uh, very, very highly. Um, I did a video <clears throat> for the new engine uh, that ended up on like quite a popular mmo website I, did, I didn't ask for it they just found the video and, and reported on the story about the new engine you know anarchy online finally gets its engine upgrade or something and then they they linked my video and said they were going to do their own video and then never bothered to make their own video or maybe they did i never saw it Here we go. Don't know why I jumped out of quantum wings there. There was no need to. Anyway, right. Uh, something about Enigma dogs. There we go. Tell me what to do. Point me in the right direction. Yay, there we go. Sounds good. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. I've been running into a surprising amount of new players recently. Well, that's good to hear. I think people are just looking for something different these days. The the new meta of you know slot machine games are falling out of favor now i mean they're big they make money but i think any discerning kind of gay person that enjoys video games is sick to the back teeth of games like that and they're looking for something with a bit more depth and lore and interest and community um and they're finding anarchy online you know I mean, I'd love it if, you know, the... Oh, let's, let's kill this thing. Seeing as we're running right past it.
May as well, hey. Vengeance of nature, I don't think that's particularly rare. I'll leave all the loot there for anyone that wants it. Yeah, what was I saying before we got off on something? I can't remember now. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I was saying about trying out Forbidden West. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like the first game, you'll probably like the new one. And for once, it's a PC port that isn't terrible. Yay for small <laughs> for small things. Yeah, it's, it's actually not bad. Uh, I think I can buff it with... No, it won't let me. Nah. Okay. I thought I could buff it up with MP pet buffs, but no. Nah. Tab the ball. And pull it towards us from wherever it happens to be. I think we saw some as we were entering up this end, didn't we? Some... a ball or three. Yep, there's one. Blondis, ahoy! Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, sir. How the devil are you? Oh, another one. for the mission. I'm sure I just saw one flash. The edge of the 18 meter range. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was wishful thinking. I don't know. Ah, ha, there you are. Thought it was stuck in geometry then, but no, managed to pull it out. Is that a dead one? I think it is a dead one, yeah. One more to go. Aha! Attack my oh it killed my Enigma dog though. <laughs> you must die for that. Yeah, see? Wasn't a good plan, was it? Right, okay. So next let's <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> time for a doja, I think. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's doja time.
peer pressure Peter with a loot, please. Good luck. Ten entries so far, so it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a busy one on entries this evening, which is always good to see. Tranda, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Here's a great giveaway this evening if you're at all interested. So, yeah, if you'd like to enter, enter away. And a loot, please, from Tranda. Good luck. Hmm. Ah, we've found a Sumphos. Uncreek with a loot, please. Good luck. be the lucky Sumphos. Oh yeah. Nope, not him. Nothing on that one at all. this one. No, nothing doing. It's not many around, so I'm assuming there's people out killing them already. Finally, he's woken up. Oh, another one did as well. He just respawned, so let's pull him over. Sad toast with the loot, please. Good luck. Oh, there's no three of them now. Okay. No, only the teasing us with the remains of but my I forgot we're dragging the clock forward tonight yes indeed fun times for all so yeah do double check the stream start time tomorrow because it will be ahead although I might I might start an hour early than normal or something UK's jumping forward. I don't know when the rest of the world does it. I hate that we do it. I think it's a complete and utter waste of time. Just leave it on GMT like we used to. We don't, you know, we, hundreds of years before then, we never did that. <laughs> and then we decided that we were going to do daylight savings which doesn't save any daylight whatsoever. The, the name is completely misleading. Uh, the notion is completely out of date. Makes no sense whatsoever. It was for farmers. Farmers don't want it. 
They never did. And it didn't, it, it made no difference for farmers in the UK at all. I mean, everywhere is lit up like Christmas these days. You just don't need it, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I, well, they teach you all sorts in school, but you go into a library and look back at, you know, the historic records of when it was brought in. It's a different story, so... <clears throat> Frank Zappa said famously years ago, um, if you want to get laid, go to college. Um, if you want an education, go to a library. And these days you could say, um, if you want to be entertained, go on the internet. If you want an education, go to a library. He's absolutely right. said in someone else's chat once oh um, having people working eight hours a day etc it's all like a modern creation it's not natural it's not normal it was it was brought in at the time of the industrial revolution and they went prove it and i went i don't have to prove it it's a matter of historical record go to any bloody library and look it up and then they were demanding i, I supply them with an internet link I mean, fuck you and your internet it doesn't make any difference historical record. Here's a book that was printed 200 years ago that tells you about it, you know. It's just sort of, yeah, whatever, you know. Right, let's have some healing from Sam. Thank you, heal pet. We'll, we'll kill these off as well. All right, search for loot. Okay, nothing there. big massive meshes they put on these things you first get it you go oh this is impressive and then you know, did someone run past with a train of mobs on them by any chance i think they maybe did yeah pretty sure they did i want to drop these two big lumps here and then kill the other stuff a few meters away so as to not have to sift through trying to find loot. Yeah, if you, if you want facts, go to a library. <clears throat> Carlo is also getting spanked. It is a little bit, isn't he? Give him another party manifestation rebuff. Right, now we've got those out of the way. Let's have the rest of you here. Right. I'll kill you all over here. Right, kill Carlo. A bit further, I don't want another one of those arseholes over here. Blocking the access to the loot. Oh, 
Nothing. Nothing. Great. <laughs> After all that aggravation. We got nothing. Really a green Hosean. Hosan. Hoslan? Whatever. One of these Medusa mobs with a different head. Whatever they are. Give them both a refresh. Yep, should be good. I was aware of his health collapsing, don't worry. I could see. I wasn't worried, he's got a lot of health. for farmers the farmers hate it and animals don't care it's an inconvenience for them as well yeah they run on natural cycles when it when first light hits and the birds are singing it's still dark to humans but During the eclipse, might have roosters crowing. <laughs> yeah. According to Google, which is never wrong, daylight savings time was a byproduct of the First World War and an effort by the United States to follow the lead of several European countries who adopted the measure to save on fuel costs during the war. Uh, extra hour of sunlight to the day. Yeah, so nothing to do with farmers. <laughs> That's because people had gas lamps in their houses and whatnot, you know. We don't live in that era anymore. We're generating power 24-7 constantly. All the street lighting, etc. it's all electrical now, so... Yeah, it's just like outmoded, out of date and not necessary anymore, but we keep doing it anyway. Someone somewhere makes money out of it. Well, that's what I think. And that's why it's still going. and follow the money yeah usually if something seems completely unnecessary and antiquated but still happens usually there's there's usually money is involved somewhere someone's making money out of it somehow so yeah Yeah, so people went burning oil. Remember oil lamps in houses? Most of you won't have ever seen one that's still in use except at a museum or something, you know, or a historical building where they've kept them. But yeah, they, that used to be a thing. You had little oil lamps or little gas lamps in the house. Lock Nook with a loot, please. Good luck. Gas camping lamp. Yeah, well, people had though like a, a version of that in their homes. You see it in old movies still.
There. Nothing on that. saving and all that. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't save energy, that's the thing. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul, so, oh great, you know, it's going to be lighter till later in the evening. But everyone that's up early for work is starting the day with the lights on because there's no bloody light. So it might work for a short period of the year, but it doesn't work for six months. There's three of these big lumps of crap. I'm going to go back to the garden and come back out again. Because I hate hunting down at this end, and number two, we've been at it for 20 odd minutes and I'm getting fed up of uh, <laughs> doing that. It's going to see if they respawned at the other end. Sing Gaffer, welcome to the stream. Watching Dune part one at the minute. Well, you'll drift off from the stream then. It's an engrossing film. Incredibly well made. Beautiful piece of artwork, in fact. Every scene looks as if, even though, yes, there's, there is CGI, it's been used to portray what, what things would look like in reality, so the cameras only move a certain amount. They don't do a Michael Bay, you know, impossible camera angles and stuff. Or all these very twitchy, jarring uh, jump cuts constantly, which I don't like. So, um, a lot of people do, but I, I just really don't. But no, Villeneuve has a, a much more artistic approach to everything. I mean, look how well shot his other movies have been. Like a rival, Blade Runner 2049, etc. They're just, he, every scene is, is just a, an oil painting, effectively, you know? Nope, nothing on him. talking about June last night as well about the various books that have come out and I've, I read the ones by Frank Herbert and only part of one of the ones that came out by his son and another author which are interesting um, but I don't know if they're and who would know them better than his, his son I don't know but yeah Never play the old Dune RTS on PC. I don't think I owned it. I think I saw a demo of it once. I played it a little bit, maybe. I think I, I'm kind of thinking it came on a magazine cover or something. I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe I saw it at a friend's place. I don't know. 
When did it come out? It was a hell of a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah, 90s. Yeah, so it's like going on 30 years ago. A little while ago. It was the first RTS ever seen. Uh, first RTS I saw in the 90s was... It was Earth 20 something or other. Like 2049, 2099, something like that. It was a little base builder map. Open, you know, as you explore, the map opens. And you click and the little car moved along. And yeah, it was quite interesting. Command and Conquer, yeah, I believe so. What was the OG one with um we have mate we have set you up the bomb, all your base belongs to us, badly translated game. What was that one? What was the actual game? I've seen it, but I have no idea what the game was actually called. We've all seen the meme. All your base are belong to us. You have no time. Yeah, just poorly translated old, old game. I mean, it might even have been a console game. I'm not sure. My introduction was reading the books. Um before the first movie was made. I did see the... Um, who made the... 1984 one, I forget now. I've seen the extended version of that as well with all the um, cut material put back in. Like four hours long or something, yeah. Well, it's long, right? So it's a much longer movie, and it makes more sense. Um, and they got rid of all the um, overdubbed dialogue, so people could express, say what they were thinking instead of acting what they were thinking. And another thing Villeneuve's done very well is he tells you what people are th thinking, but with the actors and the way the scene is shot rather than, you know, the actor doing ADR later. <laughs> Which I never really liked in the, uh, in that 84 movie. It wasn't Nolan, who was it? A good, good director, but um, he said his biggest regret is he never had final cut on that movie. Is it Lynch? Yeah. But I didn't like the way they did the Baron and the Harkonnens in that, and also didn't call them Harkonnens, called them Harkonnens for some reason. Because in the 1984 movie, the Baron is kind of a cartoonish sort of villain. I didn't hate it, but... So they've got him wrong. And then, of course, you know, Paul is supposed to be 14 years old when he lands on Arrakis. So, kind of a stretch. <laughs> With the actors they used. It worked, you know, but... there was going to be another version in the 70s they never got made Zero Wing from Sega Master it could be yeah let me google see if we can find it
Yeah, Zero Wing, there you go. All your base are belong to us is an internet meme based on the poorly translated phrase from the opening cutscene of a Japanese video game, Zero Wing. Yeah. And the original video. When um, Norton Wars launched, uh, someone posted it, the meme. The video it was um wasn't youtube youtube didn't exist then it was some other site but it had the video on it with the sound oh how we lolled oh how we thought it was hilarious it was the first time i'd seen the meme as well so it was especially funny to me fiery shimmer you can drop a dojo as well kill one of these for a change Nada, but there's usually some Sonfoss up here as well. Not many. Fire Shimmer has got this annoying dot though. Never played that game. Only aware of the poorly how poorly translated it was in the you know the musical meme that went with it. I was gonna get upset then, I thought it disappeared into the ground, but luckily he was still there. Yeah, that got sh shared on the old, old forums. God knows what website it was on. It was on something. Real Player. Remember that? Remember Real Player? I do. I remember the BBC using Real Player and you could watch catch-up programs like, you know, like half a dozen different programs were on it. If that. Um, but you had to install real player and something else in order to view them and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so definitely a long time ago now. And it was like super low bitrate and the uh, frame size was pretty bad. <laughs> It's super, really highly compressed. Nothing like modern internet. Nothing like it. Yeah, when when the modern um, internet video experience sort of got going, as soon as they got to sort of 1080p and whatnot, yeah, it was pretty much the same time I stopped watching terrestrial television at all. I just and to this day, I, I just there's no way I, I can watch it. It's god awful. Especially like we, we we visit older relatives and they've got the TV on during the day, and I'm just like, how can you sit through this mind-numbing garbage? It's terrible, you know. Oh, I'm quite happy to have it on in the background. It's just utter. It's just ugh, how how the hell are you watching this? It's god awful. Um. But hey, you know. It's what they used to, I think. It's the kind of thing you would expect to see maybe um, left on in a nursing home or something. Because they're lonely and having a... Yeah, sort of. Could be. It is kind of company. My grandmother was so old, she she had a television, but she only put it on for specific programs. And the rest of the time, she had the radio on instead and listened to music. She didn't, she didn't hold the television. 
But it's too distracting. I only watch things I want to watch on it. You know, and she would. She'd finish watching what she was, what, whatever it was she wanted to watch, and she switched the thing off. No, she never watched the single game show. It was always um, a specific program, or she put it on for the news, at, you know, the lunchtime news or something. And then once the news was finished, she just switched it off again. She didn't just watch whatever came on next. <laughs> yeah, it's it was always a radio, and it was always something like uh, Radio Five or, or Radio Four or something. Constant news news information being played in, so they were always really quite well informed. They didn't know what the latest trend was, or who was famous or wasn't, or, you know, they didn't care. You know, they, they said, oh, a celebrity, you know. No interest in celebrity for celebrity's sake at all. None. Yeah, you know, and I don't. People, you go, oh, have you seen the Kadassians? No, I've never, ever watched any of it no idea what they're about why they're, they're they're basically famous for being famous with my least <laughs> the least appealing form of fame that could possibly be for me I'm famous because you're famous what? Well, what did you do what what notable thing did you do that made you famous absolutely nothing just be famous Depressing. I'd rather have a cup of tea and a cup of coffee and play AO. That's not a bad idea. I could do with another cup. I don't use. I shall have to attach it to my hotline. Just realised. Deary me. Yeah, my, my knowledge of OJ Simpson is he was a sports person who was in the Naked Gun movies. Um, then some ridiculous car chase. Then this televised trial. That's kind of it. That's all I know about him. Could not tell you who the judge was. Can't tell you who his lawyer was. No idea. Yeah, well, I've heard Kane West's music and I think it's complete garbage. And then I, I listen to what he says, and I just, you know, mate, the most vapid, vacuous, bloody person I've ever heard. If the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. I kind of remember that catchphrase, and that's why they used it, because it's a memorable catchphrase. He's super famous. Yeah, probably in America. But what sport did he play? Because if it was if it was basketball, then he, nobody would know who he was in the UK. Yeah, 
Not that I would know who any sports person was, you know. I'm not into sports, but... to abandon this dojo and get fed up or maybe we zone we'll zone and kill some through the other zone and then if we haven't got one we're calling it quits on this i'm getting fed up and running around inferno killing the same mobs ad infinitum <laughs> it was before my time are you grinding or looking for stuff yeah we're, we're trying to get a dojo Sometimes you get one in three kills, but not today. So, yeah, we're getting fed up of it now. Well, I'm getting fed up of it now. Yeah, Kane West came over to uh, the UK, he did Glastonbury, and did a kind of karaoke, like shit karaoke version of... Um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Guy can't sing. He thinks he's a musical genius. Can't sing. He's never written an original piece of music in his entirety. I just think he's vacuous. Complete. Useless lump. I'm speaking to someone that understands music. You know, to me, his, his music is just derivative, dull, unmemorable dross. It's just complete garbage. It's got billions of dollars of corporate power behind it, so it succeeds. Because it's, you know, it's a paycheck for the cor for the corpos. That's it. That's all it is. never heard I couldn't tell you one of his songs from another there's nothing discernibly different about them and then the, the crappy comes out with just a bit laughable runway is good I wonder who wrote it Okay. All oh, right, so we sang Del Shannon's song. Okay. And you like Del Shannon's song? Is it the same song even? Probably isn't, is it? Right, run away if it's the one I'm thinking of. In the darkness of the conflict of Yemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's cash in with my charity. Go away. Okay, so that's run away. I know it, I can play it. And then what what's his thing? Run away, Kane. Kane West, so what's his version like? I'm going to mute this.
<laughs> it's a four chord song. It's basically nothing compares to you. That is what he's playing, is the chord progression and most of the melody to a Prince song made famous by Sinead O'Connor, given to Sinead O'Connor, rest in peace. Um, yeah, that's nothing compares to you. That's its whole structure. It's just the production is vastly different. But that's what it is. So it's not even original. The title is is quite the the old um, run, 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 run away. Yeah, it's not that. It's the same chords and the same melody line as nothing compares to you. <laughs> That's it. That's all it is. Oh my god! And he thinks he's a musical genius. Oh, because you ripped someone else off. Well done. A robust espresso with a loot, please. Good luck. zone is this it looks cool this is inferno and we are there we're on yeto marshes sort of Trying to get a bloody doji to drop. Smells like Team Pirates is more than a fit. No, it's not. <laughs> it just no. <laughs> it might be. It might be similar to something else, but it's not the same chords as that because I can play both and they're not the same. And more than more than a feeling is um, about three times as much song as as Teen Spirit. Teen Spirit's a two-parter. Quiet, quiet, moody bit, loud bit, quiet, moody bit, loud bit. More than a feeling is orchestral in its construction. Got lots of different movements to it. just sped up you can probably mix part of that song over another but it's not the same song because of that probably can play more than a feeling and mash it up with one of their songs it doesn't make it the same song like I say there's different movements in more than a feeling Yeah, you can sing a, a melody in a, the same key over a different set of chords. That that's not me. That doesn't make it the same song. Have you never seen the four four chord song parody where they do exactly that?
No, go, I'm not going to play it because I'll, I'll just get hammered for copyright, but yeah. Four chord song. Um, yeah, Axis of Awesome. Watch that. <laughs> You'll see exactly what I mean. It's a joke. They're not the same songs. Um, you could busk them like that, and that's what a lot of buskers do, is they don't know nearly as many songs as it sounds like they know. Um, but they can make different songs fit over four chords by starting in a different point in that sequence of chords. So if you imagine if you loop the chords end to end in a circle, they just start the tune on a different chord in a four chord song and it works and it's what buskers do um and then axis of awesome turned it into a comedy sketch where they say well yeah uh, there's only four chords for a hit song look and then they go out and they sing dozens of different hits over these same four chords so you can hear that the chords haven't changed uh, only the melodies have changed but they're also changing when there's which chord is the one and when you change which chord is the one you're you're actually changing the structure of the music as well so it's a clever trick and it, most lay persons would just accept that what they're doing is the truth but it, it, it's a trick it's it's you know it's a clever trick and to a musician it's very funny um but i think a lot of people saw that and assumed it was like yeah, that's it. And it's like, well, no. <laughs> In diatonic music, yeah, there's there's a limited amount. Um, and it's in test cases they've they've now said no, you cannot copyright a chord sequence. You can't. And it, 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 Ed Sheeran was the, the latest one. And he proved that he hadn't stolen anybody else's music um, by showing how he wrote the song in the first place with a guitar. He just sat and stood down and played it. So look, this is how I got there. The fact that these chords are similar to another song has nothing to do with it, and then proved it by playing five other songs that fit with those exact chords as well. Post Malone can actually play instruments and sing, yeah. And play ukulele, banjo, guitar, etc. Yeah, he actually has musical ability. Don't necessarily like all his music, but he's certainly got musical ability. I mean, he can sing for a start. <laughs> you know. I couldn't tell you one, I've heard them, but, you know. And he's been in a couple of movies and stuff, and he's kind of a cool guy, and yeah, good, good for him. Radiohead. Oh, I like so much. I don't have a... I mean, I like rock music and guitar-orientated music. You know, I'm a guitar player, so, yeah. But it's certainly not the only thing I like. I mean... Modern but I mean, I love what Hans Zimmer did with the music for Dune. It sounds like it is from another world, you know. Why would you have a European orchestra playing the music? Not that I don't love a European orchestra doing, you know, John Williams. Playing his amazing, you know, com you know compositions and stuff.
Yeah, so if you take the cords, um... So I think it's, um... Yeah, if you start with D... Or is it? I can't remember the chords they used to do it now. I've forgotten which chords they would use to do it. Um, no, not D minor, maybe. Maybe a B minor. Let me Google it, I'll find it. We kill this one. Uh, four chord song, okay. With or without you. Chords. Okay, so D, A, B minor, G. Yeah, so that'll sound a certain way, but if you started on the G and then just played G, D, A, B minor, G, D, you would get a, a different tonality, even though the chords are the same, because you're starting in a different place. Likewise, if you start with A, then B minor, then G, then D, then A, back to the B minor you get a different tonality again because you're, you're actually spelling a different scale and melody pattern so there we go we've got those let's just check that no nothing on him then we go back and we go there we go It's hard playing with the guitar up like this. So there's with or without you. Yeah. So what you're doing by starting with D and resolving to D is you're saying this sequ this chord sequence and melody are in the key of D. Yeah. There are a thousand songs I can think of off the top of my head that have all of those chords in them, those four chords. So if we start with uh, the G instead. I'm playing at a stupid angle. It should be, I don't think you guys will hear it though. So, yeah, so if we start with. No, it's not going to pick it up. So, as soon as you do that, you sound out, see how different that sounded to starting on D. And it, it, it carries on and on and on. And that's what Axis of Awesome are doing. The, the four chord trick thing. That, that's how the trick works, because the melodies are coming in on different chords. <clears throat> I'm probably not explaining it very well, but yeah. Hopefully you could hear how different starting on the G sounded to starting on the D chord, even though all the chords involved are in the same pattern. You just start on a, di a different point and suddenly you're in a different key, almost. Well, you are in a different key, although they're, they're linked through the circle of fifths, and but you know, you need to know more theory about that. So a lot of chord sequences are in fact borrowed, but sometimes they're entirely in the same <laughs> kind of thing. You can do with or without you, and you can do... Um, 
nothing compares to you with the exact same four chords quite easily just by starting on a different chord. They're no less valid, you know? How long have we been out here killing Somphos on this character now? Because <laughs> I'm going blind, I tell you, blind! Come on, Doja, come on! So did you all go and watch the uh, four chord song by Axis Ward? It's a good, it's a great comedy sketch, in fact. Yeah, by starting on a different chord, you're suddenly in a different tonality and therefore you can sing a different melody over it and it works. But yeah, it's, what they're saying is true. Um, you know. Yeah, poker face. She will be loved. <laughs> Natalie Umbrulia, and take, take on me. Yeah. And those are the chords they're doing it over. Those same chords. G, A. No, sorry. D, A, B minor, G. Is, is what, I can't remember what song they start with, but it'll be one of those. So you just link the G to the D again and just pick a different chord to start on and you get a different tonality. Torn, that was the name of the song, yeah. Kanye West trying to sing um, Bohemian Rhapsody Live was so funny. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's find a short clip. Yeah, Kanye West's performance would be in Rhapsody. <laughs> Daily Motion, though. This is, yeah, <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, Kanye West versus the drunk Canadian guy. You ready? Probably get a copyright claim for whatever. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, musical genius, my ass. Yeah, well, it, it came, came West versus Freddie Mercury's a funny one. There's a short clip someone did. Yeah, there you go. So I'll, I'll edit it out on the VOD. Freddie Mercury, musical genius, arguably yes. I think it's not fair. I think it's unfair to Bohemian Rhapsody that Kane West tried to sing it. Finally, I think that was nearly an hour, but we got a doja. I'll allow that on this. Because <laughs> that's a pretty good description. We know Kane's not a singer, then don't sing a singer's song. <laughs> Fucking bad idea. Yeah. The guy came up with it singing it. Yeah, and, and Freddie Mercury was an absolutely exceptional, unique singer. So yeah, you're really going, you're going hard there um, to go up against somebody like that, especially with that kind of song, you know.
Yeah, it, it, it's like they, they broke the mold with Freddie Mercury. You know, there's there's some really good um, singers who can imitate him and imitate him really well. Um, there's a guy I think he's called Car- uh, Cartel or Con- something who you'd swear was a love child of Freddie's. He looks so like him as well. Um, but my God, he can do him. He can do he can do him justice as well. Well, we need to click the doja. No, to me, people like him are just kind of a joke. They're, they're a brand, you know, as far they're a corporate brand. That's it. You know, they're, they're nothing else. They're the logo on a Nike trainer. You know, that, that's it. It's like you've seen trading places, right? It, it's kind of like that kind of deal. Like a dark version of trading places. Where they they create the pop star and the image and, and they pick all the music and the songs and the production and, and you can do so much in production you can really drastically change how something is perceived and sounds with with good production. Don't don't ever kid yourself that's not the case. Um and then, you know, these, these people, they, they get the money for it and everything else. And they, they start believing their own bullshit, you know. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. And then they, they take a risk like that. People sang along because they love Bohemian Rhapsody. Not because they think he's great, trust me. He got up and did that in a karaoke bar and sang it that well. Even a drunk audience would be like, dude. Should have picked a simpler song or something. Anything but that. You get glassed, yeah, in certain places, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's the thing. Rock music does take a pride in that the people, you know, that the people playing it are competent. Uh, real musicians. There, there's very little BS with it, you know? I mean, yeah, we had the hair bands in the 80s and early 90s and stuff, but, you know, at the same time, um, all of them are really good musicians, very accomplished at what they do, you know, and don't don't ever think they're not, because they bloody well are, you know? They can get up and do it live and run around while they're doing it, you know? caveat vanilla ice concert did a hardcore stint for the novelty of it it was really really close by in chief it's hilarious right okay right let's switch to the old mp and just for the lols no idea how it will go we will see I'm not doing that long for a doger again, though. That was unbelievable. I was with 30, 40 somfos we killed. Maybe more, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't actually counting. I'm kind of glad. All that for one doger and people go, you know, they're, they're quite prepared to do that, but they don't want to do, um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, but they'll do that, but they don't want to do uh, rats because it's a boring, long mission, apparently. What should we do? Should we do the MP or shall I go and have a revisit? Actually, let's go and take my Uber Duba Keeper out for a bit of a spin. Go and do some diner hunting for the lols. Reet, I am going to go and make a cup of tea. So I shall be back in a moment. About four minutes. I'll stay in my air. Right. 
I shall be back. Like I say, it'll take about four or five minutes to make a cuppa. And I will see you shortly. Okay, folks. Right, we shall carry on. How is the chat? Food all right, not joined that in a while. Went for a smoke. <laughs> Why not? Hey, shall we go? We'll go back to Shadowlands, but go do a, go visit a couple of diners. I think I've got all my buffs running, but yeah, let's just. Have a rebuff anyway. You know, that many buffs on a keeper. I think most of them are running them. DDO is still down eight hours now and they were talking about another MMO but they're now doing monthly releases and new content for the year of the dragon oh, there's a piss Saturday and servers are down oops yeah I bet on a Saturday as well I was like oops new content just oh dear yeah I'm sure that won't make them popular It happens. Hey, there we go. We're gonna find some diners to play with. Yes, let's stop playing MP for five minutes and play something else, you know? <laughs> How long did I play AOC? Uh, 25 hours or something? Not much. Sort of messed about with it for a week. That was it. came out tried it went yeah okay not didn't give me the same vibe as um as anarchy so i didn't stick with it you know i think that was the one i played i'm not sure there was one where some of it is solo and some of it is um played um live so to speak but I'm not sure. Uh, 
take damage all on my own. Please, they gave us the new engine for AO. Sort of, yeah. And then they abandoned it and went with the one we've got now. It's not the same engine. Or it's some hybrid or it's something weird, yeah. Food, chess, AO, EverQuest, EVE Online. All. <laughs> okay. AOC is an MMO, you're thinking of a secret world. No, it was Conan, it was, you know. They had they've done two Conan games, haven't they? There's Conan Exiles and Age of Conan. Age of Conan was the old one, wasn't it? You did some of the missions were solo. Like you like kind of more like an instance than than anything else. Um but yeah, I was only so, well, I never got much further than that then. You could switch in and out though, but that's what I remember, but like I say, when did it come out? 2004, five, maybe six, something like that, yeah. And they got the better looking water that we didn't get an AO. The trailer for the AO engine it was taken down by Funcom because it was a beat, well, not even a beat, it was like an alpha stage um, video of the new engine and we never actually got it, we got a different one. Where you had reflective water. We didn't get that with AO, we just got whatever we got, you know. Something different from that. <laughs> Lag. That's quite a big one. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what I, I was playing through. I played Star Wars The Old Republic quite a bit, played it for about a year. Got quite good. Um, enjoyed the story element to the game more than most of the rest of the game. Is it still up? Yeah, I believe so. I think it's still running. Problem was it got very sameish and very it was kind of very competitive wow servery kind of vibe someone coined the phrase oh it's wow with a um star wars skin that's it and having not really played wow um i can't speak to that much except to say yeah they're probably right because what you would do is you would try and get desirable purples for your equipment slots and whatnot and and for parts to make better weapons and you'd have to do difficult you know four and six man raids to get them or 12 man raids in order to get a chance at a drop and you spend months doing that and you'd get all these parts and then three months later after you've done that they release new content and up the level cap and suddenly the trash mob green drops are better than the stuff you farmed for and it just left you feeling very kind of like, well, fucking great. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it used to bug me a bit like that. And the way it was sort of run, like, you know, Funcom, well, AO community seems to be much more kind of drop in, raid when you want, instanced stuff. Whereas with that, it was like, 
we've got a team that are going to raid but you have to be there on wednesday at this time for that raid otherwise you're not in that team anymore you get demoted in the guild because you're not in a in a team that's raiding regularly at this time and it's like sorry but i've got a life you know so we got him yeah we got him it's a gmi one it's an in-game grace flip out so you do need an active paid account in order to claim the prize Feels a lot less sort of noisy playing a keeper to play an MP with all the pets making all that noise. <laughs> DDO was hireling, so you can have a healer. Okay. No, it was court that asked which kind of grace it was. Yeah, trade skilling was weird in um, Sota. So what would happen is you would, you'd have a couple of companions that you kind of relied on, kind of like pets almost. And you'd send them off on missions to get stuff, you know, to make components and whatnot. And while they were away doing it, you couldn't go and do anything else because, you know, you've sent your favourite healer with all the good gear on him. You've sent him off on a mission to do something. He's not going to be back for three hours in real time. So you were just sat there twiddling your thumbs waiting for <laughs> to get back so you could go do something else. It's really annoying. The single player, like, um, tutorial, I guess, part of the game where you play through the story itself, that, that was quite good. I did enjoy that um, for each class. I think in the end, I think the one I, I thought narratively had the best sort of story, etc., was um, Imperial Agent. In fact, had one of the more interesting ones. Like Jedi tank and Jedi D DPS have the same storyline. You just choose what build you're going to do and what gear you're going to run with, you know, and that's kind of it. See if this guy's up or not. Oh, I think someone's at him because they've got calmed mobs here and there. I don't know who he is there. Pull him away from those mobs if we can. Big mesh crap following. Uh, I wanted to avoid them. This guy for his level has got stupid amounts of HP as well. Actually, let's kill off the marsh lizard. Because it's an annoyingly large mesh.
Now you back over here. Yeah, here with a dimish. <laughs> Five minute cooldown for Keeper. Never was a big Star Wars guy, Star Trek for me. Yeah, fair enough. I like the first Star Wars Battlefront game being Vader and Luke. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. And the flying vehicles. Yeah, never played this Star Wars. They've done, I think they've had more success with Star Wars games than they have with Star Trek games. Um, but in terms of the TV shows and movies, I think... Well, TV shows, I think Star Trek is on streaming services is miles ahead of Star Wars. In terms of, you know, viewership. I saw a graph the other day and it was, you know, like TNG was up here at so many million views per year. And then the Star Wars stuff on other channels was, it was all like little lines at the bottom of the graph, you know. TNG is peak Star Wars. Yeah, it's, it's definitely some of my favourite. I still, you know, I still sometimes like sitting and watching a couple of episodes of the original series. Of all the new Star Trek, the two I really like are Lower Decks, the cartoon, is actually brilliant. Um, and Strange New Worlds is the best of all the new Star Trek for me. I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Brilliant cast, good writing, uh, interesting characters and character arcs. Um, yeah, it's just really, really good. But we wouldn't have had it if Commander Pike hadn't appeared on Discovery. So we haven't had Aston Mount come on as, you know, Captain Pike. It, we wouldn't have got the Strange New Worlds series. Um, but for me, Strange New Worlds is just peak new Trek, let's say. didn't like the singing episode you know what i thought i was gonna hate it i ended up loving it <laughs> and i do not like musicals i'm sorry oh the fairy tale one yeah i remember it there's worse episodes of Star Trek than that, though. Masks from TNG. Ooh, that's bad. You know, that's a bad um, TNG episode versus Inner Light being a, an amazing episode, you know. They, they've all had their good and bad, but I think in the main, um, Strange New Worlds has pretty much been knocking out the park, you know. I mean, when you're doing a rewatch of TNG, do you do the thing where you start with an episode you know you you already know that you like, and then the next one comes on, and you go, "Oh yeah, it's a bit, it's not as good this one," and then you'll skip one or two until you go, "Oh yeah, this is a good one." <laughs> and then watch that one. You know, that's that's the thing. Yeah, Discovery did have a lot of potential, um, and it brought in Michelle Yeoh, and that's always a win for me. Uh, <laughs> I, I I love her in anything. I think she's awesome. Um, but yeah, they're doing um, Section Thirty One, aren't they? They're doing an offshoot, and I bet you that'll end up. And my hope is it will be like Strange New Worlds has been, where people calling out for it, saying, "No, make that. That's what we want to watch," and the movie execs actually listening. And not going, no, 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 you're, you're all um, craven um, plebs, you know nothing of art. Uh, we'll tell you what you should watch, um, because that just never works. And they keep doing it, but it doesn't work. Um, so instead of doing that, they went, well, this is what they think they want, why don't we make that? 
and then they did people said oh we're pike pike and number one were amazing in that one episode please make a show that's that you know the enterprise before captain kirk before scotty and that's exactly what they've done and it is absolutely brilliant yes there's a couple of episodes that you could maybe skip <laughs> so what Even en Enterprise Season 4 was really good until the final episode, which was just like... It felt like we were ripped off, you know? We didn't get to see them achieve the things that they achieve, you know? The birth of the Federation and... Yeah, that, that really felt like a, a massive cop-out to do it that way but yeah they'd cancelled and that was the end of it so we were lucky to get that the cage i think the cage is still good i still occasionally watch it if you watch it on um, paramount and you go the original series it's the first episode they go with the cage unabridged and quite often I'll watch The Cage and then watch The Menagerie straight afterwards. Because <laughs> they both tie into each other. Devil in the Dark was always really good. Always worth a rewatch from from the original series. That's the one where, you know, they shoot the alien and then that's basically made of rock and then Bones fixes it with um, some cement <laughs> and damn it Jim I'm starting to think I could cure a rainy day you know it's just such a good episode Who should we go after now? Let's do... Let's do the guys up near the Incarnator. Much harder to pull. But there are sneaky ways. Run and hide. Dot, run and hide. Dot, run and hide. <laughs> seems, it seems to work. Some of the time. Yeah, of all the new Trek, I mean, the first series of Discovery was a bit all over the place. The second series was better. And then, what was the last, was the third the last one they did? Where they ended up jumping into the future. That was sort of interesting, some interesting ideas. I wasn't quite sure about a lot of it, though. Um... about Picard no no uh, Discovery Picard season one they could have just finished at the end of season one with Picard dying um, and it would have been a better piece of drama um, but they chose uh, not to do that and it, you know it's not awful because of it so we're gonna dot Linos jump down the side Season three was good. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that one. Although there's some holes in in the uh, in the writing in that as well. Like at the beginning of that that series and in the previous series is series. Um, Picard's got it going on with the, the the Romulan lady, and then suddenly it's she doesn't exist anymore and it's just it's all 
Beverly Crusher. You're like, well, what happened to her? <laughs> you know, you were... You and her had a thing, and now that's all out the window, and she's never seen again. And wait a minute! <laughs> Surely there would have been words spoken. You know, it just some of it, a little. Yeah, really, come on! I think the, the the thing that's sort of sad about the, the Picard series is he, he no longer has that the voice he used to have, and that's just part of getting older, unfortunately, for some people. They, you know, they lose some of that um, tone in, in their voice. So, I mean, when Picard barks something at somebody in TNG, you, you absolutely, yeah, this is the guy. This is a starship captain. You, you can believe him. But in Picard, his voice is more broken, it's softer. Because, you know, the guy's getting on. You know, he's doing incredibly well for his age, to be fair. But it does lack some of that kind of impact that it is, his former voice had. And it's not his fault, there's nothing he's done. He's simply lived long enough to get older, you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, so Patrick's like 80 years old. Exactly, yeah. You can't expect him to sound like he did when he was, you know, in his 40s, 50s or whatever. Not happening, you know. Oh, someone's already done Crete. Okay. Now uh, someone's camping him anyway, so never mind. We'll drop off, go and see if Creepy has respawned. I can remember how to get off here. There we go. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's just got an older voice now and it doesn't doesn't sound as great as it used to and that's a shame, but, you know, that's life. Mercy unloved. Long time no see there, Mr. Kalos. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. Slippers are screaming, yeah. Don't need them, just killing diners for the lols, you know. Bishlang Fraser H has followed. Thank you for the follow. Okay, that's the last corpse we killed. No, oh, no, I didn't think it would respawn by now. Yeah, I think I think we'll end it there. We'll do the grace draw, obviously. Oh, hi and bye. <laughs> that lag helped you no aggro. Well, until it didn't. <laughs> and then there was aggro. I'll go park this back at the hangout, re-log, and then we'll do the uh, prize draw. Yeah, sometimes it actually can help you, but yeah. came across some of your old videos my like videos list on youtube back when you were doing let's build the engi oh that's a while ago and saw you streaming yeah 
uh, kind of got into streaming over, you know, the COVID and the lockdowns and everything. Um, I quite enjoy it. I like I like the real time um, chat. That's really cool. Just talking with people, etc. But same old, same old, rambling around doing stuff. Fraser, hey, I used to play here way back. Clan called Divine. I think I remember them. Great to see the game is still going. I watch your YouTube videos, but never caught a stream. Well, nice to see you. Haven't seen Divine in years, decades. Yeah, well, a few games can claim a history of decades, but there we are. They always among the ones who can. Who's this guy? Just, just ignore that guy. <laughs> I don't know what the essay was about. I care even less. I think AO had a resurgence with the new bots. Yeah, I think people being able to just get their buffs whenever they want. Uh, a definite boon to the game. A definite boon to the game. These are, are just awesome source. Just been able to come up and get buffs when you need them, as and when. Buff on demand, as it were, is just awesome. One of the most common complaints from, you know, new people who are new to the game and don't have any friends in game or any connections in game is, oh, I'm running around trying to get buffs for two hours and I've only got three hours to play, it's a nightmare. And you're like, yeah, okay, fair enough, fair comment. And then the community at large has gone, well, actually, we could make a through buff bot and just leave it up permanently uh, with a, a decent sort of interface, simple tool set that everyone can use. And they did it and they plot not banning them. No, there's no need to ban them. It would serve no purpose to ban them. Well, you could always bump log if you had enough classes or if you were in a big enough guild, you could always ask for buffs. But someone providing a service like that is awesome. Anyway, uh, it's time. Last chance, everyone, to get your giveaway entry in. Dr. Joke and Tim has, yeah. I do recognise those names. Right, so the giveaway is for an in-game grace on GMI, so you would need a active uh, paid account in order to claim your prize, otherwise, well, you can't really, because it's you need access to GMI, and you can only do that with an active paid account. So, here we go. Are we all ready? Has everyone entered who wanted to enter? Loot plucks. It's not the right syntax, but I think that's deliberate. Londis <laughs> doesn't really want to enter. Oh, yes, he does. Okay. Right. We're ready. We're going to draw. Good luck, everyone. Give a what draw? No, that's incorrect. That isn't. There we go. Harry was drawn from the giveaway. Are you in the chat? Let's have a look. They were in quite early on. They do not appear to be here any longer. No, they're no longer in the chat. Not here. Yeah, so I'm going to send them a, a message. Let them know they've won and then they can collect their prize tomorrow. I'm not sure if the name is a troll, but... Mm, 
There you go. No. Oh, what the stupid hell? No, Windows, do not. What the hell are you doing, Windows? Don't do that again. So there you go. I've sent them the message. I wish Windows would never, ever do that. I do not want you to auto tile everything every time I move a window from one monitor to the other. Plex, don't do that anymore. So there you go. They won, so they can claim tomorrow. You have a week to claim. Yeah, I hate it when it does that. It's now messed up the chat on Streamlabs. There you go, that's better. Oh, I'll, I'll have to look at what reg entry that is and, and just bloody switch it off. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Shift windows, arrows, yeah, probably. Right, let's see. Is there anybody else streaming Anarchy Online at the moment? Let's have a look. There's me and there's... Who's this guy? Esmond Kink and... Yeah, the live feed. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. Are they talking on the stream? Court has been visiting. So if we can find it real quick. Yep. Right. Yep, they're chatting, so that'll do. Oh. So we go and raid them. Give them a bit of support for streaming Anarchy Online. So thank you all for the follows. Thank you all for coming on in. Thank you for the uh, resubs. And thank you for being here. I'll see you all tomorrow for Find a Friend with Space Quest. Should be fun. So hopefully you can all come along for that. All right, is that every, all aboard who's going aboard? Is that all of you? I think that's all of you, so well done. So go over there and join Court, who's already laying down the law. <laughs> apparently <laughs> okay guys bye for now